remember when I told you to keep an eye on Witchfire? Keep your eyes on Witchfire next year. Well, it's finally here. Yo, what's good? Y'all already know I'm Ken Wall, and Witchfire is releasing next week on September 20th in early access. This dark fantasy FPS that plays similar to Doom and Destiny could be another game that gets overlooked by the 2023 Titan. What really is intriguing about Witchfire is the new gameplay designs that they're going to be adding, like it being open world. That's something I don't see in a lot of roguelike games. So if you have a PC, want to play a new IP, and you're not allergic to the Epic Game Store, then you are about to be put on to something great. Before we begin, allow me to give you a friendly reminder to like this video, and if you end up enjoying it here at my channel, know that I keep you up to date with the latest open world game news, superhero games, and video essays where I go deeper into other gaming topics. All the links in the description box below. Thanks. Chris. Developed by the astronauts, which is composed of the founders of People Can Fly. They have had their hands in many popular shooters in the past decade. Witchfire is a rogue light game inspired by many genres. It has RPG elements like inventory, lore, modifiers. Like there are four elemental damage types. Burning, enemies receive more damage. Shocked, enemies produce a damaging bolt when we hurt them spreading the shock around. Then there's frozen, which is self-explanatory. And decaying, and loot intended to make you stronger, but getting loot is not the goal of the game. Instead, loot will help make runs easier, and of course, you will be able to upgrade your skills and weapons. It is an open world game, which from the looks of it, doesn't seem that way. This isn't the typical open world that you may think of. Originally, the game was linear and had arenas that would block the player in until they won the fight. This felt too generic and limiting to the team. Now players can explore the two maps that launch with the game in any way they want. It's disappointing to say this, but keep your expectations low when it comes to the amount of content coming in early access. This is a tricky question to answer. Not really. Let's take a number of weapons, for example. If we say there's seven weapons, is it a lot or is it not enough? For a game in the Borderlands series, it would be shockingly low. But for a game like Doom Eternal, the full version of which features 14 weapons, that would be a lot. Half of the game, basically. So let us just say the goal is to deliver enough content so you are satisfied and feel the game was worth the money, even in the early access form. Bullshit. The devs will be providing an early access roadmap in the near future. I hope they release it a few weeks after it launches because we need to know what we are committing to since they plan on having the game in early access for a year and some change. They confirmed that the early access will have controller support, crosshair customization, removing damage numbers, and FOV slider. The devs are highly likely to keep this game single player with multiplayer being less likely as each day goes on. Finding out what early access is gonna offer in Witchfire is disappointing, not gonna lie. I did not like how they were being vague. At least that's how they were coming off to me. But I'm still looking forward to the game. It's $40, so I'm definitely gonna be helping you guys out by doing an impressions for the game so I can help you out, maybe determine if you're gonna pick it up or not. As for today's video, that is all there will be for it. Stay tuned for more videos. Y'all already know, I'm Ken Wall. Remember to like and subscribe. Peace.